there's all the different clouds. It's probably gonna be a pretty sunset. Got this place to ourselves now. We anchored perfectly. The wind was perfect, everything was great. The wind is actually supposed to die down. Last night was crazy. Here we are, right on the edge. Edge of disaster. No, the land is like right here. Yeah. <laughs> the charts were very wrong. Here we thought we were real safe zone, but it's not the case. The wind completely switches a blink of an eye. We were there pinned. There was really nothing we could do. Like the waves start rolling in. We didn't have a bridle, and so the chain was like snapping. The boat is smashing and yanking. Hope you never have to hear those noises. I was expecting like a cleat to come flying off. It was dark, so we just kind of dealt with all the noise and getting woken up every five minutes. Mike says, I bet we just lost our front anchor. Be careful. See the footage of Mike retrieve our anchor. We got our back anchor holding. Luckily, we put out two anchors. Oh, well, he found it. The swivel broke. The swivel broke on us. Seekest link. We knew that. That's an expensive anchor. We didn't want to lose that. Tell you what, we can probably get out of here now. Cheap swivel. Big mistake. Big mistake. We were lucky. Maybe I'll get that anchor back. Now, here's why you spend money on a good swivel. You know, this was supposed to stop that from happening. He got side load on it. Well, Somebody we, was looking out for us this morning. That's what we <laughs> needed to do was lose the front anchor, let the bow swing around onto the beach, and then back on out of there while you pull your back anchor, which is what we did. We're headed south. Hopefully we can find some clear water. We got some storms rolling in today. Get anchored in, in a safe spot. After last night, I need a good night's sleep. <laughs> surprise. A little protected surprise. We're going to take it. Things are building around us. Let's see if we can get situated. Check the rig, tape some things. Maybe I'll sail down through here now. Next we'll ride out this storm. I'm gonna nose up here just a little further. You can see it does get shallow up there. Ready to drop the anchors? Home is where the anchor drops. So we are home. <laughs> We're dropping anchors in the seabed. Key lime and whiskey all in my head. Perfect weather. Baby out in the sea We're dropping anchors in good times We're smoking real good and drinking cheap wine like Anchoring this way off the bat Cheap swivel from Amazon I said to Ashley, do you want to spring like 80 bucks for one of those Mantis swivels? And she's like, what? We already spent 20 bucks on a swivel All right, should be fine for this trip Maybe we'll replace it next time I learned my lesson Never do that again, that was stupid no swivel, but I'll tell you what, I don't think you really need a swivel. It ain't worth having a swivel if it ain't gonna hold yeah, up. Open. I'm just gonna put this in the water for a backup. The stern anchor is the one doing the work, but if, if it breaks, if something breaks, we have a secondary anchor in the water. This pile of garbage. We've done a lot of anchoring over the years, but I've never done that before. We've bit anchors before. I mean, I thought this was a good idea that it had two swivel points and it swivels this way and it swivels this way. But if it doesn't swivel properly, then you get into yeah. a side load situation. It's no good. No. Just kidding. Keep that as a souvenir. Yeah, what happens usually, the, the Danforth, the main beam will bend sideways. Yeah. When that happens, the anchor doesn't work properly anymore. Oh fairly useless at that point when it's bent. So I'm happy to finally have a decent anchor and we, we used it the first time and just about lost it. But here we are, Ash, we're in a little better location I feel like. A little quieter, not as many people. It's actually prettier in my opinion. It is pretty. And Beach here. We're close to a beach, eight miles south of where we were last night. That way to Key West, we got a long ways to go. Yes, what? Check. The catfish. Don't really like the taste of them. We got a good old catfish. Pretty thick. Was he slimy? Ew. <laughs> if you can get somebody that can actually like deep fry some fish, they, they can probably make it taste good. This is what's been nibbling on us the whole time. I think it's a baby jack. Ravel. Bait right there. I think we should put a big hook on and put him out for bait. Now we're fishing. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> it's working. Oh, I let go. Oh. Man, I had a good strike. It sounded like it was taking it. Here we go. He got it back. Here we go. Oh. 
I saw him come up and, and get it. So here's the rig. That's the bait. Let's see if we can try that again. Wow, that was fun. But it's a good sized fish. Wow. It's like that. <laughs> a tip of Antelope Key State Okay, here we go. Here we go, here we go babe. I got you. Get it! Oh, we got something. Oh, yeah. Everything going good? Everything's going. Alright, let's, let's see if we can eat this. Thought we could, uh, Net ready. I think I have it. Behind you. Yeah, I'm in a bad spot here. Come on, come around the tank. Ah. Uh, He's yeah. down there, and I'm gonna take over. Yeah. Hang on, hang on. Drop it. Oh, it's a shark. Small little shark. Maybe I'll get a hold of him and get the hook out of his mouth. Have any teeth? <laughs> right. All right. Oh, jeez. Nah. What you're gonna want to do is uh, get a picture of him. Yeah, I got him. Gonna open up the. We did it. Nice little fight. Bye, shark. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. he yeah. was gone fast. <laughs> he was. That was fast. Yeah, we're catching fish. Well, I mean, they say they taste good. It tastes good, I guess, but I'm not. I don't know. But by golly, we caught something of size. <laughs> something of size. Something of size. Stick with us, barefoot sailing adventures. Oh yeah? Mm -hmm. Can we put a link below? 